Hello friends, this is uh, Christian. Um, hopefully I'll be doing a bit more video diaries. I hope you'll be interested in uh, hearing my views. Um, I could of course done these updates in uh, in uh, Serbian, but I mean I presume most my my Serbian friends, they uh, have at least uh, basic command of English. And I would be able to reach more people in this way. Um, first and foremost, about the war in Ukraine. I am profoundly disgusted by the acts of war. Because I am a former NATO warmonger who is now a warrior for peace. Uh, which means I'm also against all kinds of aggressive war. Also, the war from Russia towards Ukraine. Of course, we'll get into the reasons and everything for this war, but I sincerely regret that uh, Russian forces did not just keep peacekeepers in Donbass, but went to a total war uh, against the whole nation of Ukraine, of course. There are fascist and Nazi, neo-Nazi elements that is not under the control of uh, President Zelensky. Uh, but, I mean, the Russia, I mean, they suck at soft power. I mean, for them, the limits between diplomacy and, and war, I mean, it's a bit blurred. I mean, it's really like the German Clausewitz that said that uh, war is extended diplomacy. Um, but I mean, I, I do hope and pray for a very, very fast end to this war. But dear friends, I mean, this war could have been avoided. Let's go back to the uh, NATO summit in Bucharest in 2008, where we, we in NATO, said Ukraine and Georgia, you're most welcome. And we have the inept Vice President of the United States, Kamala Harris. She, a few days before Russia went to war, she welcomed President Zelensky's desire for Ukraine to be a part of NATO. Of course, I mean, from Western politicians you hear all the time that uh, Every nation has the right to decide what alliances they want to be a part of. But realize, if you are threatening the security of a different nation, the security of the Russian nation, they said very, very clearly, we do not want uh, U.S. missiles, NATO missiles on our borders. Uh, I mean, that is a perfectly understandable position. But instead of that, I mean, NATO wants to fight in Ukraine to the last Ukrainian. I mean, we say we don't want to fight, but my nation, we have uh, supplied 2,000 M72 anti-tank weapons. And what is more dangerous now, we have uh, U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, who has allowed... Poland to send fighter jets into Ukraine. Which means NATO, Norway, and the United States is now at war with Russia. I mean, we need to do everything we can to de escalate this, situ this situation. But we don't. We put sanction after sanction after sanction on Russia. We make them enemies. The Western politicians say this is only Putin's responsibility. 
I mean, it's it's profoundly shocking, and uh, we should be worried about the way the war. But what's going to happen in Europe? I mean, we're going to freeze. Okay, the, we don't want to buy Russian oil or gas. So how we're going to run our industry on wind turbines? Well, it's not going to happen. So I sincerely plead with my political leaders to sit down and speak to the Russians saying that let's have a neutral Ukraine uh, I mean it's, it's not gonna happen now I mean now the only way is that the, the Ukrainian government must accept some kind of deal with, uh, with uh, the Russians I mean Ukrainian forces are totally surrounded in, in the east and we need to accept a reality uh, this is not our fight Ukraine is not a member of NATO of course many Serbian friends I mean many Serbians they are sympathetic to, uh, to the uh, Ukrainians because they feel that Russia did the same to them, like we in NATO did to Serbia and Yugoslavia in 1999. But of course, I hope to maintain a good and friendly relations with Russia despite this. I mean, there was no sanctions against America after the war in Iraq or the war, the aggression the aggression against Yugoslavia in 99. So, I mean, uh, we are in a very, very dangerous situation and we need to ask NATO to really, really negotiate with uh, the Russians and not only condemn and use boycotts and to make enemies now. We need to see all sides of the story. This is me, Christian Kosh. See ya.